Okay, hey guys, sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, I've just been busy working and the videos that I filmed, um, they kind of got deleted. Um, I did the taste test video of the chip, of the lace chip. I did the um, Dollar Tree makeup challenge and I did do like two more hauls of Dollar Tree and a little bit of TJ Maxx and Target, but they got deleted so sorry about that and then um i have been doing a couple diys like i've done the diy um liquid lipsticks and i've done um diy um bath bomb so i'll try and um try and do a video of these um maybe this weekend because i'm not really working a lot this week um so i do have some time on my hands and um yeah so i'll try posting that more and the main reason why i'm making a video is because I subscribe to Loot Pets, which is, um, from Loot Crates, but it's just Loot Pets, um, subscription. It's $27, $26 and change, so $27. And, um, I ordered it on September 2nd, and, um, I didn't receive any tracking information or anything about my box, like, if it was coming, or nothing like that, but they surely helped, they surely did take out the money right there and then, but, um, nope, for, like, two weeks, three weeks, I did not receive any tracking information, and for two weeks, um, I have a new post office person delivering mail, and all our mail is getting mixed up, so I did reach out to them and ask them if I can get a tracking number, because my mail is getting lost, and other people, it's, like, going to my neighbors, and, like, our post office isn't, our postman is, like, new, so he doesn't know what goes where, and we're receiving each other's mail. So the lady who I who read my message messaged me back and told me that, oh, you should receive a tracking number within September 22nd through the 30th. But if you have not received your package or a tracking number, um, feel free to contact us. That's it. Nothing else. So I was getting kind of worried that I haven't received it, and today's the 28th of September. So I did contact someone, and they got back to me and, told, and gave me my tracking number and said their apologies. So I went to go check it, and luckily that it was there, like no one else took it or it wasn't in someone else's mail. But the main thing is that, okay, last month's box, because I did watch some videos on YouTube, that they received a human shirt and a pet shirt that they were matching. So that's kind of why I've, I subscribed to the box in September to receive matching shirts with, you know, guys, Shyster. And um, um, you receive a toy and treats as well. So I was just mainly looking forward to like the shirt and the, the matching shirts and his toy of course. The treats not so much because he's very sensitive and he does have a special diet food that he has and he can't really have treats either like they, unless they're from that same dietary brand that he eats which is only doctor prescription um, food. So I was okay with that not him eating the treats or anything like that. But I did get the box and I was very like disappointed and everything like that for this box. Um, you receive two toys in this box and here's one of the toys. It's really big. It's called a Lawn Games Doggy Dart, which I think is very dangerous for a dog anyway. Given the size and everything like that. And not only that, it's like super hard and like how is... Like, how is this tiny little puppy going to fit this in his mouth and play with it? Right, Shyster? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's this toy. And it's, like, super big. It's, like, bigger than my head, as you can see. So, can't play with that. This either, like, the rubber is super hard and it doesn't squeak or anything like that. And it's just called a tire ball. Easy for dogs to pick up and play fetch, but... This thing right here will hurt my dog's teeth, like his jaw just trying to bite onto and grab it. Not only that, it has a bell. That cats are the only things that like bells. And the only thing that we did get in this box was his pet shirt, which was this, just the um, Iron Man company, the Stark. So um, I got that, and then I did also to receive the treats. But, like I said, he can't really have a treat, so for $27, I don't think this box is really worth it. And the customer service, I mean, they try and get back to you as fast as they can, 
but it's very hard to get them back to you like right there and then unless it's like the same person that you made contact with you it's very hard oh and you did get a pen but um it, i think it's on the counter where i left it all earlier but yeah i was very disappointed with this box because they didn't tell me or they didn't say when you were signing up that you were not going to receive a shirt to go with your pet and also too they did have the nerve to email me back saying that oh well we are focusing on well we did say i was like no there was no thing saying that we are not gonna receive because it asked for my it asked for a human sized t-shirt as well as your dog or your pet like if people dress up their cats which i know some of y'all do so yeah i was just very disappointed with this and just the way that they were uh, explained to me and like I said that I asked them for a tracking number because my mail was getting mixed up they told me that oh you will receive your tracking info on September 22nd through the 30th and if you don't receive it well you can contact us like what is that that's like so bad service right there that you're just telling them that your mail is getting mixed up you just want to make sure you're getting your box oh and then um when I told them that I was disappointed and dissatisfied with this box because my dog can't really use any of the stuff that I paid, like, close to $30 for. The only thing that he can actually wear or use is the shirt. That's really it. And the whole reason why I got this box was to have a matching shirt with him. Like I said, on the website, it doesn't say that they're not including the human size shirts anymore. So, that was a bust for me. Not only that, um, it's not really worth close to thirty dollars to be honest i mean so like the little littler dogs aren't gonna be able to play with most of this stuff so i mean i don't think it's worth that oh and also too when i told him that i want to go ahead and return the box because i am going to return it because shyster can't really play with any of these toys um they told me that i could keep the box and pay an extra ten dollars to get the sh matching shirt with him that will be $40 for a box that you're supposed to already get the shirt in it, which I thought made <laughs> absolutely no sense to it. So, I mean, that's my experience with Loot, with the Loot Pet, that they should have told you that you weren't going to receive a matching shirt to go with your dog, like, last month that they had it, and then all of a sudden this month after changing it. I just think that that's wrong, that they should have at least told people, told them, or like announced it on the website that you're not going to receive it, instead of having people buy it and get into it, because, like I said, that's the whole reason why I kind of got this box, was to have a matching shirt with my little tiny baby shyster, because I do dress him up, guys, he, on, um, what is it, 4th of July, he did have a red, white, and blue shirt that matched mine a little bit, so... Yes, he had the Captain Awesome shirt. It was supposed to be like a little replica of Captain America shirt that he was wearing for 4th of July, red, white, and blue. As is why, <laughs> and I was wearing the Captain American shirt. So, yeah, I just at least thought like, you know, they would have told us before, like I subscribed and everything like that. But that's my take on this box. Um, maybe other people have, like, you know, better experiences and stuff like that. But as for me that I didn't receive... Ooh any information on my box like where it was or was it processing or anything like that i did not receive anything like that and not only that they tried to charge me ten dollars more to, re some to receive something that i was supposed to get in the box in the first place that they didn't mention that, that it was not going to be no longer included in the loot pet so um sorry guys that this is kind of like a bad review box but it's the truth this is the way that and this all happened today of me contacting them and everything like that about tracking information um and i did cancel my subscription so hopefully that they are going to cancel it and not make my bank bounce for something that like i already canceled last saturday that they just barely got to it now so uh -uh, come here come here don't jump so yeah that's my intake on the loot pets would i order from loot crates site again um i was looking at like more stuff on there before like this whole incident happened so i might give it like a second chance maybe not i'm not sure but i was looking also into the bark box but then again it's they have you like for a whole year and you can't really unsubscribe at any time or if you get the month to month it's like 30 dollars so i don't think that that's worth anything um 
me personally, I think that I'm just going to make my own little box for him every month and just give it to him and we'll open it up here, guys, for you guys to see what I bought Shyster for a month for his little tiny box that I would be probably giving him. So, yeah, guys, I think that's what I'm going to start doing for every month, like, buy him, like, little toys for, like, the season or something like that, like, each other month or maybe every month and put myself together a little tiny box just for him to open up. So, yeah, guys. Um, uh -huh. so sorry if this, like, video was just of me, like, uh -huh. ranting and stuff like this. It was just, like, you know, for you guys to know if you wanted to get the loot crate for your pet or anything like that, uh -huh. I would say that it's not really worth it. Now, I did see, um, Manda319, or I forgot her name, but her name's Manda here on YouTube, and it's, like, um... 0319 and like two more numbers. I totally forgot the, I think 09. But I did see her open up a bark box and it was really cute that it had like a whole little takeout toys and stuff like that. Like those type of toys would have been okay for him because he can fit them all in his mouth and play with them and stuff. But these rubber toys are kind of also too very toxic to dogs and stuff like that. So I wouldn't recommend like rubber toys because they say non-toxic but they really are toxic to your dog so yeah um just be careful when subscribing to boxes and stuff because they are like they show different things one month and then the next month they totally change everything else so just be careful with that and again sorry about like rambling on so I'm just go ahead and cut the video already so um Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any requests or anything for me to do with this channel, um, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Or oh. you can also email me at um, lexi.marqez18 at gmail.com. And you can go ahead and contact me there. Or, you know, just put your requests in the comments. And, you know, um, I, think that's it. I think that's it. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah. And sorry about the lighting situation. It's kind of already like 7 o'clock at night. So, um, yeah. Um, just uh, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.